Welcome back, boys and girls, to our Saturday Sunday School lesson. We are happy to have you. My name is Dion, and I'm from the Anglican Church of the Epiphany. I will be your Sunday School teacher this afternoon. Now it's that time for choruses and prayer. Please join in the choruses and join the prayer at the end of the choruses. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Praise, what's that? It's a
Boys and girls, that was great. Tomorrow, boys and girls, is Sunday, the 25th of April, and according to our church's calendar, it will be the fourth Sunday in Easter. Yes, boys and girls, we're still celebrating Easter. Our Bible readings are telling us more about our risen Lord and some of the lessons he taught us when he was on the earth. If you attend church tomorrow, you will hear from one of our Bible readings in John chapter 10, verses 12 through 13, that Jesus tells us that he is our shepherd and we are his sheep, and that he always protect us. Boys and girls, when we become afraid of things, Jesus, the good shepherd, will protect and care for us. Let us listen to two stories about the good shepherd. Sheep need a shepherd to guide them, help them, and protect them. We need God to guide us, help us, and protect us too. Sometimes, sheep get tangled in brambles. The shepherd comes and sets them free. When sheep fall over and can't get up, the shepherd has to come and help them up. Sometimes, sheep wander away and get lost. The good shepherd goes out to look for them. The shepherd protects his sheep from dangerous animals. We need God just like sheep need their shepherd when they get in trouble. See how cute this little sheep is? Yeah, cute, but uh, not very small. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and I've got a little sheep here today. And well, it's not a real sheep, it's just a toy sheep. But uh, my grandma said that I could borrow it to talk to you guys about, about sheep because I don't know if you know this or not, but the Bible actually talks about sheep a whole lot. And it talks about shepherds too. You know, it says that Jesus was the Lamb of God and, and the shepherds were the very first people to tell to tell everybody that Jesus was born. And, and, you know, David was a shepherd before he fought Goliath and all that stuff. There's all kinds of stuff about sheep and shepherds in the Bible. But the thing I want to talk about today is I want to talk about how God is a good shepherd. Now, a shepherd is somebody who takes care of sheep. And, you know, sheep are great. You know, we use them for wool, for our clothes and other kinds of fabrics and stuff. And we use them for food. And, and some people, they, they drink their milk and make cheese and stuff out of out of sheep's milk. And, and they're really great. But sheep need someone to take care of them because, well, they, uh, first of all, they're not very smart. They, they don't really know where to go. They kind of follow the group around. And if the group goes to the wrong place, then they all go to the wrong place. And the other thing about sheep is they don't have a whole lot that they can do to defend themselves. You know, if a lion comes to go eat a sheep, yeah, he's going to eat a sheep. There's really nothing the sheep can do. It can be like, bah, and then get eaten up, and there's really nothing they can, they can do to fight. So sheep need a shepherd to show them where to eat and where to drink, and then also a shepherd to protect them from, from animals that want to eat them, you know, like, like lions and bears and, and, and wolves and stuff, and then they keep the sheep safe. You know, the Bible says that Jesus is a shepherd and we are his sheep. And, you know, we, we do a lot of good things in life, but we, we also, we need a lot of help, a lot of help. We need Jesus to lead the way. In the Bible, in, in Psalm 23, the whole chapter, it talks about how Jesus is our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. And he takes such good care of us. God, God, you know, just like a shepherd, you know, takes a sheep to the nice places where there's, there's good water for them to drink and good grass for them to eat. God leads us where he wants us to go. He leads us down the paths of righteousness. He leads us down the paths that we should go. He, he tells us how we should live. And another thing that Jesus does for us is he protects us. Just like a, a shepherd protects his sheep from animals, God protects his sheep, us from all kinds of bad stuff. You know, the devil, he 
he really wants to to destroy us. He wants to mess us up, just like a lion wants to mess up a sheep. You know, a lion might be prowling around trying to find a sheep. He might be able to gobble up, and Satan's the same way. But God protects us from Satan. There's so many things that Satan wants to do that God says, mm -mm, nope, can't do that because they're my sheep. And he keeps us safe like a little baby lamb. He keeps us safe. And I am so glad that God is my shepherd because, well, you know, sometimes I do feel like a sheep. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. But I know that if I go to God, that he will help me to know what to do and to know where to go. And I, I can find his truth in his word and I can pray to God and I can learn at Sunday school and all these things. It's like he's being a shepherd and, and guiding me in the way that I should go. And I'm so glad that he keeps me safe. You know, we talk about how sheep are kind of dumb and, and they're, they're kind of smelly, but they're not so bad. You know, sheep, actually, it turns out sheep are pretty smart when it comes to following. They know they know who to follow. If if a guy who's not the shepherd comes and he talks to sheep, says, okay, sheep, get in the truck. They, uh, they don't do it. They don't know who, they don't know who that is. They listen to their master only. They only listen to the shepherd. So that's, that's my challenge to you guys today is that you guys would be like a sheep, a little sheep baby, and that you would listen to the shepherd's voice, listen to the voice of God and live the life that he has planned for you because his plan is awesome. And another challenge is, is I want you to look up in your Bible, Psalm 23 and read the whole chapter. It's a long chapter. And if you need some help, you can get your parents or Sunday school teacher or somebody to help you out. But that that chapter tells us all about how God takes care of us, just like a shepherd takes care of a little sheep. You know, it is a hard job to be a shepherd. You know, sheep, sheep in real life, like I said, they're, they're not so bright and you got to go find them sometimes. They wander off and, and you know, sheep are kind of smelly and they're, they're kind of gross. But, you know, it, 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 I think it's worth it in the end. And I'm so glad that God has decided to be our shepherd. And I want to be a good sheep. And thank you guys so much for helping me to spread the good news of the Good Shepherd. Boys and girls, Jesus is our shepherd and we are his sheep, as you heard in the story. And if we obey Jesus and do what he tells us, that old Satan will never, will not be able to hurt or harm us. Remember, boys and girls, always obey Jesus and obey all those who are responsible for you, like your parents and your teachers. Obey the rules too, like the ones we have to obey now to protect us from the pandemic. Wash your hands, wear your mask, and stay within the space provided for you, especially when you're at school, church, and other places. So boys and girls, keep on obeying Jesus, our risen Savior, and remember, He is always with us. Have a wonderful week and try to be obedient. And don't forget to pray to God to help you in everything you do. Now I want you to be still, close your eyes and say this prayer with me. Dear God, thank you for being a good shepherd. I know I don't have to worry about anything because you are watching over me. Amen.
Yeah.